Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Natalie and my channel is all about luxury, vintage, fashion, and styling. So if you're interested in any of those, please consider subscribing by hitting the button below. So today's gonna be the first installment of my Handbag 101 series. So what I'm gonna be talking about is everything you need to know about buying pre-loved or vintage handbags because that's probably the most questions I receive about my tips and tricks for how I buy and so I'm gonna be sharing those in a uh, multi-part series so the first part today is gonna be all about where to buy your vintage or pre-loved luxury handbags so if you don't already follow me over on Instagram you definitely should I will put it up on the screen and I'll have it linked below as well but I always am sharing when I find great deals on bags that are from trusted resellers that I trust personally and have purchased from. So I'm always putting them up in my stories there. So you can always check that out. And also I always link within my YouTube videos if I'm talking about certain bags or brands, I always link a bunch of options down in the description box. So that's a great place to check as well. So the first step about buying handbags is deciding where to buy. So. Um, down in the description box, I will link a few of my favorite places to shop. So these are all places I trust and have purchased from before. Um, most of them are bigger resellers, so bigger sites. And there's also a few of like smaller ones who I feel like I have a personal relationship with. I know how they source their bags and authenticate them and they are very trustworthy. And I actually usually have uh, promo codes with them. So if I have any active promo codes, I will also have those linked in my description box. But the first thing you have to consider is so finding a trusted seller. So take something, for example, like the real real or fashion file. Those are really big resellers that do it on a mass scale. So people sell to them, send their items in, and then they are authenticated in-house by their authenticators. And so I know there's like the rare occasion when people say, oh my gosh, I heard that, you know, someone had gotten a fake bag sold to them before from those. But honestly, that is so, so few and far between that a fake would get slipped through. And my opinion is that you should always get your stuff authenticated after you receive it anyways. So authentication we'll talk about in a different video, but um, a tip is that just from buying from these bigger sellers, you are just essentially more protected because a lot of times these sellers have great returns policies and they 100% guarantee authenticity. So if you do come back and find that something was inauthentic, you can definitely return and get your money back very easily without a fight, say, if you bought something fake off of eBay, it becomes a lot harder and messier to try to get your money back. Another pro of buying from one of those big resellers, like I said, so like Fashion File and The Real Real are the ones that I use um, primarily, is that they already have the bags in their possession. So say for example, like Vestier, that's like a secondary platform. So people usually have their bags um, at their homes and they're listing on Vestiaire and then you have to go through the process if you buy it that that person's got to send it in to get authenticated to wherever in the world that is getting shipped to and then it gets shipped to you. So it takes so much longer to go through that process than the resellers like the Real Real and Fashion File who already have their bags and have already authenticated them and they're ready to ship. So you'll get your bags much quicker that way. Another advantage of those sites is that they have a huge selection. So they make it really easy to narrow down what you're looking for, either by size, if you're looking for like designer shoes, bags, if you're looking for a certain color, certain brand, they make it really, really easy to be able to search through all their items. So I would suggest going in and like actually changing your search versus like doing like just a broad, like all, searching all bags. I mean, if you're looking for something specific, it's definitely helpful to narrow down your search and then you can see all the items and then usually you can like save them you can hit the heart to like or save and then you can also compare prices so it's a good way to start learning about handbags when you see the prices 
listed differently uh, for different conditions of a bag. So we'll talk about condition of bags in a different video as well, but just so you can kind of see market value of certain conditions of bags, it's always good to do that and also compare with multiple sites. So before you just snap up a bag, unless you've been searching for months, this is the only bag you can find of that kind, you know, you can go for it. But if it's a bag that's like somewhat common, say it's just like a Chanel medium flat bag, I would compare from multiple different sites to just see kind of the range of prices. So then you also kind of know there's a red flag if for some reason, some small seller on eBay is selling for a crazy ridiculous deal. I mean, that's a red flag that probably if the deal's too good to be true, it is. So it's good to just kind of know the market value of the bag that you're looking to purchase. Now I want to touch on eBay because I do get a lot of questions about eBay as well. And it can be a very like intimidating and scary place to purchase from. And for good reason, because there are a lot of like frauds out there as far as purchasing off of eBay. So I do stick pretty strictly if I'm buying on eBay. So my guidelines are I only buy from trusted authorized resellers and they have this little like um symbol when you're searching i will um put a picture up of what the symbol looks like but when you're searching through bags or sellers you'll see that they have this icon and it means that they're one of the top sellers on ebay so they're some of the most trusted and they've sold some of the most items of that and typically those are japanese resellers now it seems kind of scary to think about buying from somewhere in a foreign country like Japan, but actually Japan has one of the largest and most um, comprehensive amount of vintage bags. So especially if you're looking for vintage in particular versus pre-love, um, Japan has some of the most um, bags there. So those resellers are honestly some of the best to buy from. Um, you can find some of the best deals with them because there is such a surplus and they have very strict selling guidelines in Japan. So selling counterfeit items is very, very highly illegal there. So there's a lot of punishments from their government if they do. So there's not really a lot of fakes coming out of Japan. Although don't use that as far as like, if you see a random seller saying they're from Japan, selling something like don't just automatically trust it because it's coming from Japan but from these huge resellers that are trusted off of eBay they list things I mean they have millions of listings and honestly I have yet to come across one that seemed very off or suspicious to me um, again it's always a good idea to get it authorized um, to get it authenticated after you receive the item but usually these resellers also have a return policy so I mean, they make it so, you know, they're very open. They share a ton of photos, a ton of information on their sites or on their eBay listings. So um, you can be pretty confident when you do buy from them. So one more tip from buying off of eBay. Um, so you've already found these power sellers. You've already found something you liked. Another thing to do, um, and you can do this on any of the other sites also, is to pay through PayPal because PayPal is also going to back you up if there's any sort of discrepancy or if you find a bag to be um, not what it says it is. It kind of gives you extra protection. Now, small sellers can be a little bit scary on eBay and like Poshmark and honestly, I usually stay away from those, but there are smaller shops such as ones that are like off of Instagram and they usually have their own website also that are actually truly legit. Um, I will list a few down in the description box. Again, like I said, um, ones that I've personally purchased from and have some sort of a relationship with. Um, usually they have really good reputations. Um, if you look at their bags, they're very transparent with condition, with photos. Uh, usually they're really good at responding. If you have questions, um, please like, the number one thing is trust your gut as far as when you're buying something. If something seems off or like too good of a deal, you just get that like instinct that, mm, I don't know, something doesn't seem quite right. It probably isn't. So, you know, go with your gut as far as that. Yeah, a pro of shopping from one of the smaller resellers is usually they have 
very um, minimal markups. So versus like buying off some of the bigger sellers that are more trusted, they usually can get the higher prices for items. So they may be a little bit lower on these smaller sites. So nothing like crazy where you think, oh my gosh, that's too good of a deal to be true. Um, but they will have lower um, rates because they're not charging as much like say interest or they're not upcharging the items as much. So, cause they're usually buying from either um, someone who's consigned to them or they're buying from like um, the larger kind of markets and things like in Japan and in Asia. So um, they usually also have good return policies. They will say, you know, they're hundred percent authentic or your money back. And one last place that you can definitely look to shop is just your local consignment shop. So um, a lot of cities have consignment shops like in person and they're like usually the luxury ones where you can go see things in person, ask questions, um, maybe look them up on Yelp, see what their reviews are, make sure no one said anything crazy about like getting something like inauthentic or fake sold to them. but. Those are good places also just it's nice that you can go and see something in person try it on see how you like it because you honestly you kind of never know when um if you haven't seen the bag before in person so that is a nice option just depending on where you live and if you are in one of like the bigger cities like new york or la they have these like amazing consignment shops like the real real has their own actual shop so does fashion file so you can go and see these bags in person which is really nice. Um, that's a really great option too, as far as where to buy bags. So I hope this buying video was helpful. Again, these are just my opinions and my views as far as buying for vintage and luxury handbags over the years. Um, so if this was helpful, please consider liking and commenting um, and subscribing, of course. And if you have any additional questions about buying, please leave it down in the comment section. I'll be sure to check there and respond to you guys. And I will see you guys in the next installment. Bye.